Well, hello everybody, and welcome to All Trade Beat, All the Time Beer Review, and Baseball Card Opening. Here we go. We're going to open a small pack today, one of these repacks that you find commonly at uh, CVS, uh, Rite Aid, around stores like that. They carry these. Well, everybody in the hobby, it seems, is chasing the Target Bowman Mega Chrome boxes and chasing the Otani autographs and the big bucks. I'm chasing fun. All right. A lot of people looking for those autographs and they're coming up with nothing but frustration. But I find when I chase fun, I generally have a good time. And if I pull nothing out of here that's special, I'm going to pull cards guaranteed that I can at least share with my trade partners. And we're also going to have some fun with our beer review today. So, the Rage Against the Machine. Today's video, we are raging against the Otani Machine. And we are going for a fun repack and hope that we find something nice in there. All right, at least, you know, I usually have pretty decent luck with these. Every now and then I pull an autograph. I haven't pulled an auto for myself, a Dodgers auto that I keep, but I've pulled a few that I passed on to my friends. And we'll see how we do today on tape. All right. The other reason for the shirt is, well, we got the matching colors. It matches today's beer. So let's start off with our beer review, shall we? So that we have a, a nice beer to go with our baseball cards. This comes from Ninkasi Brewing out of Eugene, Oregon. So we have another Oregon beer today. And this is a seasonal release. It's called Believer. It's a double red ale. I'm not usually a big fan of red ales, but it's a double red ale. So why not? Let's give it a shot. <clears throat> and it also comes in at a decent 6.9 ABV. So that should be a fun beer to taste. Let's give it a shot. Here we go. Here comes the pour. Double red ale. Let's see how the color comes out, shall we? All right. It's a deep copper. Just, just like the brown of the bottle. You can see it there. Quite copper. Oh, I smell it. It's quite aromatic. Right from the get-go, it's got a big, it's got a big beery kind of smell. What am I picking up? Some, uh, as I say, floral notes in the rosé. Let's have a taste. Double red ale. Hmm. This is interesting flavor. Let's see if we can break it down. I'm picking up different stages. Initial flavor. And then how it kind of coats the mouth and the aftertaste. I'm picking up um, malt. I'm picking up a lot of flavor of malt. Pretty much you can see from the color that it's going to taste that way. Slight hops in the um, initial flavor and a malty sweetness that blends with them pretty nicely. Fills the mouth pretty well. Most of the flavor is up on the top roof of the mouth. And the aftertaste, uh, I want to say slightly bitter, a little bitterish. I love that initial taste though of the blend of the malt and the hops. They have a very nice balance here. What other kind of flavor? Um, like a, um, hmm, 
butter what is that butterscotch toffee like a toffee-ish kind of a uh, note there pretty good pretty nice i like that that's some pretty decent beer ninkasi now these boxes are, are notoriously hard to open they they use the greatest glue in the world on the top so i'm going to attack this box from the bottom now these repacks are usually older cards from years back but the thing is you know you might get lucky and you might get some players that you like that you've never seen before in a card that you hadn't got yet and look at this a nice little bonus pack 1990 Fleer Fleer wasn't a great brand but uh, once again you never know what you're gonna find right okay let's see what we got here we got a whole bunch of these and usually these repacks are facing double directions okay first card up you have a look see and of course it matches our colors so we may have some good luck today so the colors are happening and it's a dodger but mm, jose gonzalez kind of weak giants boo i know somebody who collects these um fleer kind of um logo thingies oddball little cards here so that'll go out to you bob boone from the angels all right there's a nice shot catcher's gear here comes another dodger dennis powell now he wasn't very good i didn't really like him that much i don't remember much about him except i don't remember much about him how about an expo all right rob mcclure here we got joaquin andujar and one nice thing about these repacks also is you get the old time uniforms military helicopter passing overhead hmm i hope the aliens have an attack during our video if so let me be the first to welcome our alien overlords and um if you eat baseball cards i've got plenty to feed to you because we're kind of uh showing up with like just a bunch of scrubs so far expos scott sanderson from the cubs as i was saying you get a lot of shots of the old time unis which isn't a bad thing okay ed wojna from the padres and here's an old time padre uniform all right scott van slyke here's your daddy andy van slyke all right ex dodger here portrayed with the cheating cardinals what else have we got we got a diamond king here's our first diamond king we got a met dave magadan dave magadan from the mets all right who else have we got here once again they're double changing their faces on me here we go we got another diamond king we got dave kingman of course diamond king kingman second met here we go with the tops we got the white socks we got old time Braves uniform. How about this one? Old school Braves. Bob Kipper with the Pirates. Otis Nixon. Who remembers Otis Nixon with the Cleveland Indians there? Here we go. Bill Madlock, who many of us remember as a Pirate. Some of us remember as a Dodger. And I definitely have no memories of him as a Detroit Tiger. So check that out. Who else have we got here? Here we go. We got Stan the Man Musual. All right, that'll work. So a tribute card to Stan Musual. Pretty cool. Speaking of cool, Robin Yount. All right, that'll work with the Brewers. Here we go. Houston Astros, old-time uniforms. Ted Power with the Reds. More Expos. Boy, if you're an Expo collector, you get yourself one of these boxes and you just really scored because you're going to get a whole bunch of old Expos out of there. Joe Orsalak. Had a bad joke for him, but I'll pass it. Dave Van Olen. <laughs> Cubs. Billy Hatcher. Let's go a little faster because these guys are mostly scrubs. Dave Valle. Terry Harper. This is the um, Kansas City Royals. This is, you know, the um, side effect of buying these repacks. You get an awful lot of scrubs in the box. But as I said, you never know, and we're not done. We've still got a healthy stack to go. we still got a little bit of beer to drink. 
We're already at 10 minutes, but let's go fast here. Here we go, Giants. Boo. Here's Chase Utley as a Philly. There you go. Dodgers are playing the Phillies right now, this this uh, week. And there's Chase with his old club. All right, let's see who else have we got. Jim Tomei. All right, folks like Jim. Old 500 home run club Tomei, am I right? Who else have we got? Scrub. 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 Yankee Scrub. Jonathan Broxton. He played with the Dodgers for a while, but he's not there now. Scrub. Let's see who else have we got here. Bear with me, folks. Let me switch these cards around because they're backward on me. And here we go. All right. Let me look for somebody good here for you. Scrub. Scrub. Trust me, right? Trust me on these. Scrub. Not a scrub and a great shot. Fernando Valenzuela. Bunting. I don't think I've ever. I, I know. I don't have a card of Fernando Bunting. So this is a great little card right here. So I, I like that. I'm liking that. Brewer scrub, Oakland A's scrub, Lee Smith, who many of us remember as a Cub. But look at that. I sure don't remember Lee Smith as a Boston Red Sox. Scrub, scrub, Luis Polonia. I went to see an Angel game once, and Polonia had like three errors in the outfield. People were chanting his name and having a good time laughing at poor Polonia's escapades. He was not enjoying it, but it was fun for us in the crowd. All right, here we go. Javi Ortiz, if I'm not mistaken, I think he played with the Dodgers for a short time. Speaking of Dodgers, Mr. Hersheiser, right on. So there's something not too bad. I'm not a Giants fan, but lots of folks are fans of Willie Mays. There's a Turn Back the Clock Tops card. Harold Baines with the White Sox. Scrubby Scrub. Scrubalicious Scrub. Here we go. Who's this? Frank Tanana. He used to pitch with the Angels, but pictured here as a Tiger. Go figure. Scrubby Scrub. Scrubbity Scrubalicious Scrub Mania, Gary Gaetti. I remember him. I think he played with the Dodgers also for a short amount of time. Here we go. This guy used to manage the Dodgers. Don Mattingly. All right. On an all-star card. So that'll work. Here's another all-star, but he's scrubby. Who else have we got? Uh, I shouldn't cheat you, should I? Mike Greenwell. There's probably plenty of Mike Greenwell fans out there. Okay. So there's him. Danny Jackson. Who else have we got? We're looking for a quick, nice surprise. Billy Ripken, and it's not the card with, it's not the naughty Billy Ripken card. So I'm still chasing that one. Let's see, who else have we got here? I don't see my great insert or autograph yet. Running low on cards. Cespedes in a Tops 2016 Tops. Nothing too fascinating there. We have some league leaders. Here we go. Last uh, dozen cards. Derek Jeter with the Yankees. Folks should like him. Joey Vato. He's popular. David Price was popular. Uh, Marlin. I have no idea if he's even popular in Miami. We've got um, Michael Young. Last three, four cards. Juan Nicasio. Gregor Blanco. Look at that pose. <laughs> Luis Perez. And finally, Trevor Bauer with Arizona. Okay, so, eh, you know, that was a very iffy, iffy box. But let's see what's in our pack. Let's see what's in our bonus pack. 1990 baseball bonus pack. Here we go. Take a swig for luck. Ninkasi Brewing, not bad, a pretty good beer. Fleer Baseball Quiz. Frank White. Blaine Beatty. Jerry Brown. Eric Davis, who came to play with the Dodgers for a while. Some folks like Eric Davis. George Bell was popular for a time. Players of the Decade. So George Bell with the Players of the Decade card. Um, Alan blah, blah, blah from the Giants. 
Joe Blah Blah from the Red Sox. Here's Rhino. Ryan Sandberg with the Cubs. Jim Blah 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 from the Brewers. Willie Blah Blah from the Angels. Blah Blah Blah. Blah La Scrub from the Cubs. But he's got the Cubs uh, pinstripes, so those are kind of nice. Alan Trammell, there you go. There's a nice tiger. We didn't get his uh, partner. Roberto Alomar. Lots of folks like Roberto and chase him. And we got a dual card here with John Norton and Scott Lewis. Something like that. One last little bonus inside our box here. Up in the top is a figure that says bonus figure on the box. Let's see what we got. Let's see what's happening in here. It's the last little thingy. It is a Teeny Mates. Whatever this is. Last bit of fun. I've never opened one of these in my life. Should I open it? I think I'm... Yes. We're on camera, right? So let's get this puppy open. Oh, boy. I'm going to need something to cut it or some brute force. Here we go. Let's just get brutal with it. And let's see what figure, tiny figurine, did we get in our box. Teeny Mates. Oh, what is it? It's a couple of puzzle pieces have fallen out of here. And it looks like two little Teeny Mates. Tiny Teeny Mates. A Philadelphia Philly. Because, of course, the Dodgers are playing the Phillies. So why not get a Philadelphia Philly teeny mate? And is it a Dodger? No, it's a Met. So it looks like Kaz. Next time I put together a package for you, I got a bunch of Mets in here. And I've got a teeny mate also to send your way. All right, thanks for joining me today for a little fun pack. We didn't pull an Otani. <laughs> and... Um, I'm not going to rage except for rage with fun and a good beer. And thanks for joining me today. We'll see you next time with new cardboard surprises. Aloha. Peace.